Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's touching nukes gently, and in this video we're going to be building this a foundation communications outpost thing. I don't know. First up, we're going to need a vocation, aren't we? And if this one looks familiar to you, it's because I built here on my last one. Now, there's a lot of reasons why I love this vocation, but I think the main one is just how peaceful it is. You never really get enemies here. Just ignore that flashing red hit marker on the screen. That's nothing to worry about. Now, foundations-wise, we're doing something a little bit different. This build is going to be based off an earlier one that I've already done using the watchtower, but it'll look decent, don't worry about it. To start off, you've got to put down your watchtower. If you don't have the watchtower, then you're not going to be able to do this build. I don't know what to say to you, really. Other than congratulations for not wasting your buddy money. If you do want to make poor life choices, though, and buy the buddy thing, then just message Bethesda and say, here, listen, I want to buy this watchtower, can you sort us out? If you have the atoms, they'll deduct them from your atom bank, I don't know what it's frigging called, and they'll send you the watchtower. Beautiful. Now, you may be wondering what the buddy how I'm doing here with found Foundations. Well, the idea behind this is to get foundations all around the base of your watchtower and then attach walls to them. Why are we doing this? Well, it'll just enclose the tower itself. It looks better, trust me. The reason I'm putting down random walls and then deleting them is just to make sure that they fit around the tower itself. If I say tower one more time, I'm going to shoot myself through the fucking skull. As well as fitting around the stilted viewing platform, we're going to have to make sure that the walls fit underneath it as well. And obviously, if they don't fit, you can adjust that by changing the eye to the foundation foundation. It's really quite simple. Once you've got your foundations around the base of it and you're happy that all your walls will fit in, we can move on to the next step, which is, you know, putting in the walls. Now, I'm going to be using the log cabin set for the walls, and the reason for this is because it's a settler outpost. And if you've ever taken a visit to foundation, you understand that that's the only bloody thing they know how to build with. This bit's actually quite simple. All you're doing is placing down the pieces around the base of your Stilty Boy 3000. For some reason, I'm changing mine to what I actually want them to be, i.e. a window or a solid wall, save yourself some time and just leave them as doorways because you're going to need to remove the foundations. And once you've got all your walls in, then that's exactly what you're going to do. Just start pulling them out and getting rid of them. We are, however, going to leave these ones in place. From here, we can start building up, and I'm going to use the new Rustic Greenhouse set. I think that's what it's called. Probably isn't, but fuck it, we'll go with that. And we're just going to do one run of these around all our build. Beautiful. We're going to finish enclosing the build with the log cabin set again. I'm going to be using this variant of the half wall, and we're just going to place these all around the build on top of the glass pieces. Simply, simply lovely. And this is why the foundation eye is absolutely critical. You know, as you can see, these log cabin walls sit perfectly under viewing platform. If we wouldn't have got that right, it'd look absolutely bloody terrible. Once you've got all your log cabin boys in, this is what you should be left with. Doesn't look too bad, but I think we can add to this. On this left-hand side here, I've just added another foundation in to make a 2x2 two two square. This bad boy is going to be our living quarters. I'm just going to change these into solid walls because you're not going to be able to see anything out of a bloody window there. Now, keeping in theme with the rest of the build, we're just going to be using the log cabin set and it's just a simple square structure. Nothing too complicated at all. You're literally just placing down wall pieces. Once you finish that monumental task, it's time to move on to roof. Now, again, dead simple. You all know how to put roofs on a building. Throw down some top arches on each side of it like that and I mean proper throw them down, you know, just get them on there. Once you finish finish making inappropriate facial expressions to your screen and you have indeed put your top arches on now it's time to choose a roof this one's up to you guys you choose whatever buddy roof piece you want i'm going to use the haunted house set because i can simple as that if you want to use a concrete one then use a bloody concrete one it really does not bloody matter once you got that wrapped up this is what you should be left with you see it's starting to take shape now isn't it all right then so our next step is to build an entrance way and i'm going to be making a bridge because immersion we're going to start by throwing down two phones foundations here and then we're just going to put a bridge in now i'm a lazy bastard who spent far too much money and time on this game so i have these prefab bridge pieces here if you don't have them and you don't want to get them use foundations or if you're feeling extra spicy you could even make stepping stones although i will say that is a pain in the ass either way once you got your bridge down you have something like this ish at this point guys our main structure's done but we can beef it up a little bit you know make it look a bit more manly not sure if i'm allowed to say that anymore but it's fine the way we're going to do that is by using these stair post blueprints if you don't know how to do it i'll leave a photo card in top corner and we're just going to go all around the build and every wall joint and corner we're going to place one of these down now yes it does seem like a lot of pointless work but trust me once you get all of them in it does transform the build for better or for worse that's for you guys to decide now obviously 
Exactly. To get them at the correct height, we're going to have to put down foundations again. You know all them things that I told you to remove at the beginning? Mm -hmm. Yep, simply, simply counterproductive. But it's going to be fine. Don't worry, guys. It's just a bit of extra work to keep you sitting in this game for much longer than you need to. If this does make some of you angry and frustrated, I do apologise. But please save all that spit you're currently launching at your screen for Bethesda. Now, I didn't make the building mechanics. I just make it slightly more difficult for everybody involved. Anyhow, once you've got all your poles up around your view distance increaser, you'll eventually come to your living quarters, and you don't want these full-size stair post blueprints around them. They'll stick up and look fucking ugly. All you've got to do is place them down like you was doing with the others, and just remove the top stair post. It's as simple as that. Now, when you get to this corner here, you may find that you can't put down your stair post. All you have to do is delete the top arch, delete the walls, put in your stair post, and then you should be able to snap your walls over the top of it. I know all this is time-consuming, guys, but it does make a hell of a difference. Just take a look at that. See, even small things can have a massive effect. Just ask my wife. All I need to do now is tidy these posts up a little bit. It looks like they're floating, i.e. they're not sitting in the water. Dead easy to remedy. Grab the small size post my one and just snap it to the ones that are already there. Simply, simply lovely. And again, all you gotta do is go around the whole entire build and snap these pieces in. Again, only a simple farty little thing, but it will make a difference to the overall quality of your build. When you get to this post, however, if you've built your camp in the same location as me or pretty damn similar, you'll find you can't snap any posts here. So we're going to do the right thing and totally ignore it and pretend it doesn't exist. You know when I was going on about overall quality before? Yeah, let's just ignore that for this instance. When you got all your posts in, stand back and admire your work. Now, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but that's pretty damn sweet. I'm happy with that. At this point, we need to get some defensive walls around our foundations here, and I'm going to be using the encampment gate ones again. I think this is the most I've ever bloody used this build set, to be honest with you. But yeah, these will go down on the front of the foundations, absolutely no problem whatsoever. You won't be able to snap them because of the bridge and the water, but you should be able to place them on top, no issues. However, when we get to this side here where our unplaceable post is, we won't be able to put down the wall either. Again, I don't know why, I just think this whole entire area is fucked. Top 5 best camp spots, 100%. So what we're going to do instead is we're just going to place down a log cabin wall. I mean, I could have come up with something a bit more fruity for this, but I, I just didn't. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say to you. Glitchy terrain aside though, I still think that looks okay. Don't know about you guys. With this being a comms outpost, we need to make, you know, some form of comms equipment, don't we? We could just slam down a satellite dish on top, but I think I'm going to make it a little bit more, you know, spicy. We're going to merge a satellite dish into a power pile one. Now, I have seen Stole Your Sweet Roll do this before, so thank you for giving me this idea. But yeah, let's just crack on. It's just a simple merge glitch. You've seen me do this a thousand times before. I'll leave a floaty card if you don't know how to do it, but it's just a case of grabbing this satellite, plonking it on top of a little power conduit, it and slapping that on top of your power pile one and then just use the merge glitch to well merge them together there's no other way to explain it is there now i'm not too happy with that it looks you know terrible to be quite honest with you so i'm just going to go away and straighten everything up a little bit there we go you see absolutely fantastic that looks much better we can then grab the old lot and just go and plonk it down on top of our jesus christ i'm running out of words for this thing here height extender 12,000, and there you go comms tower on the front here we're going to be using these new industrial wall like things now for some strange reason you can only build three of the buggers which is an actual kick in the penis because they look amazing so two of them can go on the front here and then the third one I, I don't know we'll come up with something later no we definitely won't we can add some more light into the bridge if we want these little railway lights will look pretty decent are they railway lights they're called track lights i i, I don't know railway track i yeah, you know what a buddy mean, don't you? Whatever the buddy called, they can go up bridge. They'll probably be coming off the bridge again when I realise that they're brighter than the second coming of Jesus, but for now, we're just going to leave them there. And of course, no build is complete without some of these brambles, so just get crazy with these and throw them around everywhere. Make a giant fucking tumbleweed if you want to do. The, the world is your oyster. So a quick pre-decoration tour. This is what you should have, roughly, in here. This is going to be your comms room or... Is it? I don't know. Whatever you choose it to be. And then in this room over here, it's got to be the living quarters. At least it is in my build anyway. Now, I'm going to cut away to some footage of the bugger decorated. As you all know, decorating isn't my strong point, so please don't be too disappointed. But yeah, catch you in a second.
And there you are, guys. Not too bad, is it? As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my patrons. It really is appreciated. If any of you guys want to get involved with that, then just click the link below and find out what extra little bonuses you get. Also, while you're having a rummage down there, feel free to click on Discord link. That'll take you to, funnily enough, my Discord. I know it's mad how technology works, isn't it? And of course, guys, if you did like the video, please hit that like button. Let me know I'm doing an half-decent job and consider hitting that subscribe button too. Anyhow, as we say it north, I'll love you and leave you and I'll catch you next one. Thanks again, guys. Much love.